Hello friends. How you doing? Are you Charlie? Are you Charlie? Is that a Charlie? Yeah. Fred doesn't like Charlie. Fred gets mad. He gets really upset. Okay, no, seriously, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm sorry that was that took so long. I want to do a discussion video right now. And what it is, and I know I've mentioned this before, okay? But, like, I have a problem, and I know that the majority of people out there do not have this problem, but I do. And what that is, is I enjoy reading series books. Like, I want to follow characters along and go on these ridiculously long journeys with them. And when I read a book in a series, that from the standpoint of the series I'm bummed out by, I give the book like a bad review. Like in my opinion, I don't think the book is that good. And I'm noticing that I need to not do that. I do it with short stories. I do it with the Conan stories. Like, um, like some stories are better than others. But then, like, <clears throat> I try to do the whole, like, well, this story probably took place in between this story and that story. And if that's the case, this sucks. And all this other shit. And I shouldn't do that. But the reason why, um... This book is just amazing. Like, I am loving the crap out of this book. For me, it is so inspiring. And it makes me want to stop reading it and just start writing. Um, and it also makes me want to go back and <clears throat> read a bunch of stuff. But the thing that made this ring true is that when I read the fourth Barsoom book, Thuvia Made of Mars, I was so mad. I. Fred, no one wants to hear you lick yourself, you grody. Um, I was so pissed that the main characters weren't John Carter and Deja Thoris that, like, I feel like I never gave that book a chance. Like, as soon as I realized that they weren't, like, the main people in it, I feel like I totally checked out from that book. And, um, I think on my reviews of all the John Carter books or the Barsoom books, that was, like, my least favorite. Like, I despise that book. And not because it wasn't a good book. In fact, I don't even know if it was a good book. Because the whole time I was reading it, I was just upset that um, John Carter wasn't the main guy. And so it made me think of, like, other um, books in series that I read. And I remember... When I read um, Tanar of Pellucidor, I was pissed off at that. Um, but the funny thing about the Barsoom books is that by the time I got to um, Chessmen of Mars, I was over it. And I'm like, okay, this is just how things are going to go. And Chessmen of Mars is like my... I don't know if it's my favorite, but it is so close to my favorite. Like, that book is so good. And Mastermind of Mars I really liked. And Synthetic Men of Mars I really liked. I don't think I liked Fighting Men of Mars very much. Or Lana of Gathur. But, um... 
it's like as soon as I got past the idea that like John Carter wasn't the main character, I was fine with the books. And like the fourth Pellucidor book is actually the 13th Tarzan book, um, Tarzan at the Earth's Core. And even though I was totally pissed off at Tanner Pellucidor, by the time I got to Tarzan at the Earth's Core, I thought it was fucking just super fun. <clears throat> so, I'm trying to, like, put this into, like, other... Like, other... What's the word I'm looking for here? Other series. Because, like... Back in the Star Wars Expanded Universe days, like, I read, um... Tales from Mos Eisley. And, um... Oh, there was a Bounty Hunter one. And there was another one, too, I think. But it was just, like, short stories about the other characters that were in the cantina during A New Hope. And I thought that was, like, one of the coolest books I ever read. And, um, like, it didn't have, like, Luke Skywalker in it. It didn't, I mean, it did, but, like, he wasn't, like, a main character in it. And so I'm just, like, where does my... In fact, like Steve Donahue, like his favorite next generation Star Wars, Star Trek books are the ones that don't have anything to do with the next generation and they have a bunch of um, original series characters in it. Okay, so that's a thing. Um, I haven't read everything that Tolkien did, so I can't compare that. Um, but again, I read The Hobbit and then read Lord of the Rings, but I, I wasn't expecting, like, um, Bilbo to be, like, I just never even thought, like, oh, yeah, the Lord of the Rings has to be Bilbo's story. Like, I never, like, did that. Um... But I just, I, I can't think of any other instances except for lately where as I'm reading a series, because like, can you imagine a Travis McGee book that didn't have Travis McGee in it or a Mike Hammer book where Mike Hammer wasn't the main character and some might say like, well, you know, the later Mike Hammer books, he might as well not have been a character in it and, um... I could I could see that. But I'm just like or like maybe this is a good example. There are times not necessarily with Batman but with detective comics where I'll pick up a detective comics issue and Batman's like not in it or hardly at all in it. And depending on who the writing team is and what precedent they've set, that's understandable. Because, like, since Rebirth, um, Batman isn't necessarily the main focus. It's, like, the Bat family. And I haven't read anything since I got kicked out of my comic book store. Um, I'm, wait I'm waiting for the trades now. But I feel like, um, and dude, Detective Comics 1000 is going to be coming out soon. If it's not already out. Oh, man. I just realized that. That is... I have to get that. Okay. Anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Like, how do you guys do it? Like, does anyone else go through this? Like, it's very frustrating. Because, like... Everybody, like, it kind of goes without saying, maybe. But a lot of people really think um, Thuvia Made of Mars is, like, one of the best 
Barsoomian books, probably outside of the first three. But even, like, Son of Tarzan. Like, Tarzan was not the main character in Son of Tarzan. And I love that book. I think that book's great. <sighs> so what's my problem? Do I have a problem? Is this, like, an existential thing? Like, am I going to start, like, doubting my existence and shit now? I don't know. This is this is pretty deep here, guys. So let me know down below what you think and what I can do to not be such a douchebag. And um, I'm going to try to knock this out today. Um, not because I want to get it over with, but because it is riveting. I'm loving it so much. Um, I'm loving it so much that I'm actually kind of pissed off that I can't find this edition of this book on Goodreads. Ya bastards. But I did find an old Ace copy of it that would go nicely with all of my beautiful Ace paperbacks. Or wait, no, it wasn't Ace. It was the other one. Eh, fuck it. Um, I'll figure shit out. So let me know what you think down below. Um, let me know if I'm crazy. And I will wish you all a happy Sunday.